Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today we're going to have a short little video and I'm going to show you how I actually put up a light switch outdoors. A lot of people don't know about outdoor light switches, waterproof outdoor light switch receptacles and you just use just your regular household light switch and uh, I got the uh, boxes here on the bench and I'm going to show you because I don't think there's a lot of people know that you can put an outdoor light switch and when I show you this light switch I explain why I did it and let's uh, let's go over to the bench and we'll take a look and we'll see because I don't believe many of you know about outdoor light switches that are waterproof so let's take a look well here we go here you can see I got two sets here and this manufacturer is called Bell Outdoors. I just picked it off off of Amazon myself. And you've got these two pieces. Comes with all the caps if you need them. Whatever outlet you are going to use on this. And everything is supplied in the bag. And of course it comes with all the screws and everything. But the main thing is this comes with a waterproof gasket. Fits on here like this. And it's got four mounting points, you know, which are very easy. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And all it is, is an off and an on. And I'm going to zoom you in, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Okay, so there we are right there. And I'm just holding the unit myself. And on the outside, I'm just pushing the lever. So as you could see, all it's doing is moving that switch for you from the other side. Now isn't that slick or what? So let's go outside and let's take a look and see why I installed one of these. So here we go just underneath my eaves and you can see that uh, I've kind of removed some parts on there. The motion sensor is disabled and I'm only using one floodlight and I'll show you the reason why I only use one floodlight. Well that's the reason right there why we even have that light is to make sure that when we're barbecuing at night time you can actually see what's on the grill. And uh, let's take a closer look at the setup here and how this is all wired up. Let's start right at the receptacle plug. There you go right there, nothing fancy. And we follow it up and here is it right here. Now I did put a waterproof connector on the top and uh, just mounted it with screws and I got a board here. Now I don't have anything on the bottom. Should there ever be any water come in here it'll just come out. So I didn't figure there was any need for that. And you follow it down and it just got a little bit of a clip on here too. So that's the setup there and the reason why I put that switch in and of course you want to see if it works right? There it is right there. And you know, you're not going to get yourself a shock, anything like that. So I didn't want to, uh, you know, to have any problems. So what I was doing in the past was I just left this plugged in, but the light sensor was very sporadic. Sometimes it would go on, you know, the motion sensor to see if you're out here or not, and it stopped working. So I decided, you know what, let's just go back and just put a switch in. So all we do now is we can just turn it on and turn it off. And another thing that was happening with that motion sensor is I have a fireplace exhaust here. And you would be surprised at how many times the heat comes up, activates the sensor on, and every time the fireplace would go on, it would activate that sensor and turn the light on during the middle of the night. So I thought enough of that stuff. So that's the setup right there. Well, that's an alternative for many situations when you want to put, you know, one of these switches on the outside, a waterproof switch, whether it's on the outside of a shed or anywhere outside, it's waterproof and you're not going to electrocute yourself with one of these, right? You know, because if you take a look in here, that's a pretty slick design, you know, and both pieces were like 10 bucks. And for me, 10 bucks was worth it. Because I have seen some people just use an ordinary receptacle box and you know that's not the best way, right? So 
and I do like using the waterproof connector on the top, but I have seen some people, they just run their cable through and then they silicone it and seal it up. So I mean that's an alternative, it's up to you, you wire it the way you think you like, but wire it safely, right? Thanks for coming back here today and uh, hopefully, uh, well, maybe you've seen something that you never knew existed before and that is one of these units here. You guys take care. Seen this channel before? Well, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back and watch some more. Cheers.